call for the challenger. 9 2 0 is the champion's ledger, and it's the champion who is the bookmaker's favourite. We'll throw this one to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to get proceedings underway. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co main event of the evening for Cage Warriors Light Heavyweight World Title. Your judges at cage side, Mr. Ben Cartledge, Mr. David Leatherby, and Mr. Mark Collette. Your referee in charge when the action begins, Mr. Leon Roberts. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet one inch tall. Official weight, 203.4 pounds. He is fighting out of Padova in Italy and brings into the cage a professional record of eight wins with one defeat. Introducing the challenger, Ricardo, the walking dead, Nostalgia. Standing opposite him in the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 63 inches tall. Official weight, 203 pounds even. He is fighting out of London, England. Now brings into the cage a professional record of nine wins with two defeats. Introducing the reigning, defending cage warriors, light heavyweight, world champion, Modestas. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, you both know the rules, you both know what to expect. Protect yourself at all times, follow my instructions at all times. Fight hard, fight fair, and fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Back to your corners. Referee Leon Roberts with final instructions there. Five five-minute rounds if they need them for the Cage Warriors light heavyweight title. The so challenger. You ready? You ready? Ricardo Lasilia in the black with white and red trim, the champion Modeskas Bukowskas in the solid black trunks. And we are underway. You can almost see the guard of Lasilia looking to parry shots to find a way in. Bukowskas looking to work that jab early. Bukowskas has something of an unorthodox striking style based in traditional martial arts. As did many of the fighters who train under his father in the corner there against us. Yeah. Also got Cage Warriors veteran Dennis and Sutherland in the corner. Bukowskis with a good underhook there to try and stop the head connecting low. Eating a few knees here, but it's nothing substantial as of yet. There's a lot of forward pressure from Massilia. Challenger trying to shut Bukowskis down early. Yeah, he's trying to pick up on this single leg here and turn it into a reap. We're used to seeing the Italian kind of go over unders or double unders for the body lock. But a change of tact here. Bukowskis is going to stomp that leg to the ground. He can't, he can't just uh, let it be kind of free holding time for the Italian. He's got to really drive it to the ground, make those arms work to hold that leg up there. Big take down for the challenger there. Good shots as well. It was a good post from Mikowskis to try and get back up, but nice quick shots from Nasilia made him forget that very quickly. Nasulia looking to become the second Cage Warriors champion of Italian descent. Yeah, looking for Kimura quickly and looking for the mound, but it's a beautiful time bridge. From the Kauskas to earn his way back to the feet. Good work from the champion there. Keeping that head in the pocket. That was, that was timing and explosion, and you know, just the timing was everything there. He won't really have used any energy in that escape at all. Trying to return the favor for some of these knees now. I'm surprised he's not breaking away and trying to throw a strike on the break. May just be a matter of time. The 
Kalsis did start somewhat slow and his title victory over Hamler came on strong very late in the fight. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of time to play with, you know, five five-minute rounds is a long time in the cage. And with these types of grinding exchanges, you know, that really does wear on you. And of course, you, we don't know how well the challenger operates in those championship rounds. Very rarely finds his way out of the first. Actually, don't know if he has before. Make sure they're not beyond the ear, Modesto. Make sure they're not beyond the ear. Certainly hasn't in his last five or six Make contests. Oh, big elbow oh, from the Kauskas, and it's over! He's knocked him out! Unbelievable! Wow. The city are still out here. And he's gone flat as well. For Kauskas, just they, they started off light, and when he found the target area, he ramps up the power and the volume. Kauskas raising the Lithuanian flag. Makes his home in London, but very proud of his heritage. And let's take a look at the finish here. Solid elbows. Yeah, just left his, left his head on the outside and it really didn't take very many. And they were right on the ear. Like, as picture perfect as you'd want for a, for a target area without being illegal. The referee's right there watching. It, it didn't take many. What a finish from Bukowskis. Great awareness of his positioning, his opponent's positioning. And you didn't see it on uh, on your screens there, but he just pulled off a pretty sweet backflip in the middle of the Cage Warriors cage. He may have been on Take Me Out, but something tells me he'll be getting a few more dates after this. Not the kind of dates you're thinking about, the kind of dates to possibly fight in the biggest promotion in the world, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Doesn't usually take many big wins for the light heavyweights to get called up. Bukowskis though defending his title here. And we will throw it to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, and he will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Leon Roberts, call a stop to this bout after three minutes and 31 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by way of knockout and still the Cage Warriors light heavyweight champion in the red corner, Modestas Bukaskas. The first title defense is in the books for Modestas Bukaskas, quickly becoming one of Cage Warriors stars of London. Another big KO for the champ. Pictured there with Cage Warriors CEO Graham Boylan. He'll now join my broadcast colleague Josh Palmer in the cage. I'm here with our champion Modestus Bukowskis. Modestus, how are you feeling right now? First successful title defense in the books against a, a very tough opponent. Do you know what? This is exactly how I visualized it. I've been thinking about this day since the fight got announced. Everything went exactly to plan. I've got an amazing team. The best team in the country. I'm telling you right now, best team. I want to thank everyone who's come out to support me, all my sponsors. I just want to give you a little background. Three weeks before this fight, I dislocated my left knee. As a champion, as a champion, you must overdapt and overcome. And I've just done that. And I want to give a big shout out. If you ever heard of distinct physiotherapy, Leanne is your chick to go to. Talk us through the end of that fight, because it looked like you landed one or two, you checked the target area was okay, and then you just went to town. <laughs> do you know what? I actually saw Conor McGregor do that to an opponent. So really in that position, I mean, we actually went over it in the rules meeting beforehand. He said which areas were clean. And obviously he told me not to hit behind the ear, so I was trying to make sure I had good shots on the right spot. And yeah, I, I overcame and I done it. And I'm, I'm so happy. What was the game plan uh, coming into this one? Because he's known as a guy who was probably going to want to engage in the takedown, put you on the ground. Uh, were, were you looking to keep this one at range? 
Let me just say, everyone give a round of applause to Ricardo Nasilia. He is an absolute warrior. He deserves a lot of credit. He's a dangerous, dangerous fighter. Yeah, so the game plan was very similar to my last opponent. Is, you know, stuff the takedowns or get back up to my feet and then just land my strikes. I haven't even shown you half of what I'm capable of, but watch out because it's coming soon. You got a lot of support here in London. You're still the champion. Uh, what's next for you? And are you happy fighting with this kind of support in the crowd? Listen, the support is absolutely amazing. Cage Warriors is also amazing. But I've got to say this. Dana White, Sean Shelby, Mick Maynard. I'm ready for the UFC. Please give me my shot. Please let me show that I'm ready for the world stage. I know there's a show in March in London. Let's do it. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, your Cage Warriors champion, Modestus Bukowskis. Modestus makes calls for the UFC and takes his record to 10 and 2 with an emphatic round one win and incredible elbows over Ricardo Nasilia.